So lots of people over here are anxiously tuning in on a nightly basis to, of course, the, whatever you want to call it, fest that is Celebrity Big Brother over on the commercial channel ITV. Now it's interesting, let me tell you, because there's two things that a lot of people won't realize. And this is simply, Gary Goldsmith was booked for one reason only, to get some interest factor and try and sell the program around the world, particularly the British version to America. Nothing like a sprinkling of royal stardust, is there? But when you think about it, a lot of people were basically saying, well, why would he do it? And we've explained the reasons behind it. He clearly wants to be famous. He clearly wants some money. And I, th I personally think it's up to him. He's not a member of the royal family and he won't be allowed to say too much. But I can tell you the inside secret as to why, even if he was to say something, it will be truly edited out. Let me explain. Are you sitting comfortably? No, are you? I know I worry, you see, because when, when I know, well, you see, this is my job. I, a lot of you say to me, Neil, I watch you with my first cup of coffee uh, or I wait for you at 7 p.m. Uh, when I can relax, you know, I can see the chocolates coming out. Yes. Oh, don't think I can't see through this screen. Don't you pretend you're all goody goody eating celery and salad. I know you. <laughs> can you imagine if we were all watched when we were watching TV? Yes. Where did all that celebrations tin go? No idea. I didn't eat them. <laughs> Terrible, wouldn't it? Video phones, a worst invention ever. Yes, you agree. But good to see you anyway. Thanks for joining me. Let me tell you this. There's a bigger reason on a more serious note as to now why Gary Goldsmith is, yes, he's being paid. He's certainly not being paid a lot of money. He's not in the league, let me tell you, of Sharon Osbourne, Louis Walsh, or even a couple of the D-list reality stars from the ITV stable. He was quite happy with the fee that they put forward. And it's a reasonable fee, but not cracking, you know? It's not really what you'd imagine. But the bigger picture is this. You see, they've booked him, as I say, to get eyeballs to try and sell the programme around the world. Now, here's where it gets more interesting, because... The bottom line is, if he was to say anything untoward or whatever, well, simply it wouldn't go out. And the reason why it wouldn't go out is the fact that they need Kate, Catherine, our Princess of Wales. And the reason why they need Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is their big books are literally making on Catherine's yearly carol concert from the divine Westminster Abbey. You know, the one that we all enjoy watching every Christmas Eve. It's proved such a ratings buster for ITV that literally they sell it around the world and it's done incredibly well. People might say, well, where? It goes into airlines, you name it, streaming platforms. It makes a lot of money for ITV. And the head honcho at ITV, Carolyn McCall, would not want to offend or indeed upset Catherine, the Princess of Wales. So while people might suggest, well, Gary Goldsmith's in there and he's going to be dropping a lot of bombshells, there will be nothing negative against Prince William, His Majesty the King, senior members of the British monarchy, because basically it's down to money. It's always down to money in the end. And ITV realise, no, and make sure that there will be nothing untoward that could offend, of course, Catherine. Now, once Gary comes out of the house and is interviewed, say, on other media or indeed magazine interviews, they can't stop that. But all the while, ITV are protecting the fact. The bottom line is they need the carol concert. And if, of course, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, was to move it simply online, monetizing it herself and the Royal Family Channel, well, that would really be a big loss. Far more than perhaps cutting early Gary Goldsmith, which could also happen if he doesn't deliver or they feel he's been rather offensive. As ever, I have the inside track, happy to share with you. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.